So we're gonna attempt to see if we can get into Jock Lindsay Hangar Bar. It's really busy, so I don't know if we'll be able to, but that's where we're headed. It's right in here. They have an outside bar set up, but we wanna go inside. Oh, yeah. We got some more live music over here. Coldplay. <laughs> Let's see what you did. Yeah, I did. That was pretty awesome. If we can get to Dockside Bar Let's at Boathouse, we're trying new things. Let's it's see. Gamble, folks. It's like a roll of the dice right now. You know, it's Saturday at Disney Springs on yeah. a holiday. Look at the sea. All right, so here's the Dockside Bar, which is behind Boathouse. Huh? Yeah, but that's a table. You got to have a reservation for that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a spot over here. Let's walk down. Yeah, we've never been over here before. Walk down from the dockside bar. Take yeah. Down here. They got all these cool little Chris Craft boats. There's the boathouse main restaurant right there. Yeah, this is all on the dockside. Still trying to find an available spot. All the docks. Yeah. The marina. Look, you got a little sitting spot. Ooh, I wonder if we can sit here. <laughs> We can. You want to sit here and get a drink? Oh, look. Score. We found a spot. Okay, so there's these little couches right here at um, the dock, dock side behind the boathouse. And uh, it's it's like a it's like a it's a dock is what it is, yeah. and uh, like a little marina kind of vibe. And look, you got real boats. Nice. Oh, boats. Chris Craft boats. Uh, this is cool. I didn't even know this existed back here. No, neither did I. No, I didn't. This little seating area, a little couch, and I just asked the waiter. I said, "Can we sit here?" He said, "Yeah." I said, you "Take orders from here." He said, "Yep." Uh, he said he'd be right back to get our drink order. Full deal. So we're gonna sit here in the water and uh, this is cool. have a nice uh, cocktail. Yeah, and it's very hustle bustle out there right now. So this is a this nice, is a nice quiet yeah. spot. This yeah, is cool. This I like is a this. Nice little secret spot. I love it. We, we just keep, found a little hidden jewel. I know. We keep finding all these just little things that we want to get away from the hustle and bustle and have a drink and just chat, and talk, and be quiet, and catch up on your devices or whatever. Yeah. Come, come, come right here. Did you show them all this? Not yet. And what else is cool is they've got a guy playing acoustic in the restaurant, but they're piping the music out here. Yeah. So we can hear it out here too. But yeah, look. See, this is our. So you got a little couch over there. And look, this is the table. There's condiments on it. And uh, we've got so, some wonderful Louisiana Tabasco sauce. So if we want to order food, we can. We're probably just going to get a couple of drinks and just chill now, for a bit. I don't know how long it's going to take. We'll see. Okay, so we're just taking a look at the menu here at the boathouse. So even out here, you can order anything off the menu. And we have heard the food here is really, really good. We didn't come here to eat. We just came here to get a drink. We may get one thing and split it, but we may not. Now I've heard that this under sandwiches, uh -huh. the Gibson's Sandwich King award-winning burger is really good. I heard it was a, a must-have. I would totally eat that if you'd split it with me. <laughs> it's got jalapeno Havarti cheese oh, on it. Oh, who cares? I'd try it. <laughs> but it's a jalapeno flavored cheese. Havarti yeah. cheese. You like Havarti cheese. I love Havarti cheese. 
and then on the back side of the menu it's just is all the drinks hey you know they uh remember uh they got the place called poutines and you can get like oh, all yeah. you can get all these different style like new york poutines yeah Italian poutines talk about and then there's a Comfort very extensive food. wine list here yeah. yeah we're just probably gonna get a couple of drinks and um chill for a bit what'd you decide you're gonna get to drink I wonder if you could eat here. You can, yeah. He handed us menus. We could totally order some. On the dock. Yes. See, condiments. First priority is to get a drink. I know. What are you going to order? I think I'm going to just get me a. Uh, like a, a whiskey. Or the rocks. Cool. And look, we're literally on the dock. See maybe, maybe some Diet Coke in it. I don't know. Maybe some Diet Coke in it. Going for a, it's getting later in the evening. We're not going to stay out too much later. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just trying to get some uh, bang some for the bang, bang for the buck. <laughs> but it's really cool being out here on these docks because these docks are moving. So every time the boats come through here and create the wakes, the docks move up and down. It's it's pretty neat. It's neat. Slow. They're very busy though. It's busy, but you just say it. Yeah. Warm, yeah, it is slow. So we are at Disney Springs, but we are watching the Happily Ever After fireworks. But they're not wanting to come up behind the trees right now. Oh, I got a little bit. I'm coming quite up high enough, are they? A couple of them do. I'm assuming there's going to be some uh, higher. There we go. There's some. Our drinks have arrived. So I have the, the Boathouse Margarita. And Jason got, what kind of whiskey did you get? I just got Crown. Oh, Crown and Coke. Uh -huh. Crown and Diet Crown Coke. Coke. Okay. Oh, the fireworks are trying to peek out again. Better go catch them. Uh, we're getting a pretty decent view of the Happily Ever After fireworks from the floating moving docks when they want to peek out over the tree anyway. Oh, there we go. There we go. doing here squeezing the uh, lime and there it looks like a nice looking margarita colors right it's got the salt and rim just like the way she likes it squeeze the lime in there mix it all up it's a it's a strong it's a sour one. <laughs> a little extra sweet and sour every time or is it or is it just strong it's margarita every time I have my first sip of any margarita it, it hits get, me like it that. It gets you in the feelers? It does. This is a good margarita. Mm. Mm. I know I make funny faces when I drink these. <laughs> it's just the sweet and sour hitting me the wrong way. That's Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Cheers to that. And then I just got the good old school. Crown and Diet Coke. Cheers. 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 And a uh, footnote, just a footnote, it's a strong margarita. That's a good note. Yeah. End it on a high note, literally. 
Got another Amphicar spotting. Okay, well, let's just take a look at these boats real quick. All right, so this is what we're sitting in between. Let me back it up. So we're sitting in between this boat which is a really cool boat. And there's Jason. And then there's this boat. Now look, they're all from Minnesota. Did you notice that? CMN? I remember um, Mark telling us... Keys aren't no, no keys. I'm going to drop the horse and take it for a spin. <laughs> okay, so cool story. We know somebody that owns one of those ample cars. And he lives in Minnesota. And he told us that almost all of the Ampha cars here at Disney Springs came from Minnesota. And I just noticed that boat right there, its registration is Minnesota too. I don't know if they're like a group or like one collector has all of these or what, Who would but they're neat. That the boats would come from, from Minnesota. Minnesota. Of all places. Weird, to all the way here to Florida. You know? Who to thunk? Who to thunk it? Wouldn't have been me. Me neither. That's a long way away. It's a cold place where people don't necessarily go boating. But I, you know, I know they have, they have, they do have a summer. Yeah. It doesn't last very long. The summer's beautiful. I mean, we were there in May and it was still chilly in May, but. Well, what I noticed there too when we went was me and Elisa were like, gosh, everybody's so active. It was like right close to spring. Yeah. Just pre-spring. And it was like, and it was still cold. It was like 45 degrees still. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, Elisa, look at all the people walking their dogs and running. Yeah. 45 degrees is nothing to them. That's like <laughs> springtime. They're like, oh my gosh, let's go running. I know, It's still right? cold to us. I know, 45 is really cold to us, but so, to, I mean, they were so just out and about the, like it was The comfy. second they get a window of some kind of warmth, they get out and they're active. So they make the best of it in a little bit of time that they got. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I guess that makes sense. Yep. So this is where our great acoustic music has been coming from outside. at the boathouse. We've been there for a couple of hours. Uh, uh, Bethany and David came and hung out with us for a bit so we didn't have the camera on. We were just talking and uh, now I'm lost. Anyway, we're lost. we're lost. We're walking around Disney Springs Yeah, lost. it was good to meet you guys, Bethany and Dave. And Thanks for watching the channel and it was nice to meet you guys and we had a great conversation and we got to have a couple of drinks together and that was always fun. That's always the plus the side way. of uh, of all this, right? Yeah, it is. That was cool. Yeah. Yep, we're officially Had going fun. the wrong way. Yep, we're supposed to go that way. We need to go that way. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're trying to find our way out of Disney Springs now, but... Our nails keeps following the food. <laughs> the, uh, it's calmed down. It's still crazy busy at 11 p.m. Just look at how many people are still here. Well, it's Saturday, and uh, still, it's, a holiday, it's a holiday weekend. We've got Martin Luther King Day on Monday, so the kids are out of school. So I think maybe that's uh, playing into it a bit. Yeah, it definitely is. It's busy, but um, it's manageable it's, at this time of night. Yeah, it's manageable. It was a little congested in some of the narrow parts yeah. earlier, but now it's manageable. It's not so bad. I it, like the buzz. I it like feels... I like the uh, the energy, though. I like, I like lots of... People. Oh, I don't mind lots of people. I don't like it's just when I can't in. walk. I, I like to see it. I like to. S <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I like to see it from afar. Yeah. I don't like to be all up in it. The not being able to walk because the crowd's too strong. Not fun. I like the energy from a distance. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so. Okay. Pit stop. We're going. We're going to the hole in the wall bar to get Jason a Guinness. Literally, it's called the hole in the wall.
welcome you to a beautiful Guinness. It's been cooking for a minute. The head's a little bit under poured, but. <laughs> you got the Guinness mustache. Delicious. Good beer. Is that a good way to end the day, honey? Good way to end the day. Um, this way. Disney Springs never disappoints. Uh, oh no, we it, love Disney Springs. I mean, it disappoints the pocketbook. <laughs> oh my God. But but isn't that the, the, the truth? Atmosphere, the atmosphere does not disappoint. Look at the beautiful twinkling lights in the trees. Twinkle oh. lights. It's a it's a great. Oh, speaking of sprinkles. Oh look, they're sprinkles cupcakes. I haven't gotten. Oh, Mama wanted dessert. Let's we'll uh, go in there and check in. When there's a line that long at 11 p.m., I don't be good. need a cupcake no, that no, bad. No, I think it is. It's got to be good. And there's a lot of hype to it. A lot of people, sprinkles, some people say sprinkles is really good. Some people say sprinkles is just okay. Oh, the springs at night. Springs. Aw. It's so pretty. I was really hoping for more of a spectacle. Like a kaleidoscope. You want a kaleidoscope? In the water. Seriously? Yes. In the water. It would probably attract too many kids and they would all be like trying to dive off the bridge into it. It's very pretty. Okay, so here's Sprinkles. It is 11.06 p.m. And look at the line in there. At 11.06 p.m. That's now, crazy. I'm wondering if that means it's because it's very good. Typically, when you see a line, that means there's something good going on there. Probably so, but I am not in the mood to stand in line at 11.06 p.m. She's tired. I'm and done look, for the day. Whenever she decides, when she flips the switch, the switch gets flipped. Yep. And there ain't no flipping it back, y'all. Now, if there was no line in there, would I have gone in and gotten a cupcake? Probably. But there's a line. So, next time. We were just talking. We're just amazed at that. We've been here, it was a year and a month ago. It's so fast. Look, show them. It's ridiculous. It just, the this stores were like, we don't recognize half no, of these stores. No, all this wasn't here. I, it was very close to being done, I think, when we were here. But yeah, this area was built. It just had all different stores in it. All these stores have changed. Because I remember walking through here. It's been a year and a half since we've been here. Year so and a month. Much, year and a month. And it's changed so much. It really has. Disney is ever changing. Yeah, there's Zara. Here's where we get out. We are not lost anymore. We finally found our way. Yes. We are. Oh, my hair's all messed up. We are heading back to Coronado Springs. We're going to call it a night. We're it going is, back home. Our, we're this going is our home. home away from home. And it's a beautiful home. It is a beautiful say. home. So, and then we're we have. coming an, for you, Coronado Springs. We're on our way. We have an early morning at Epcot tomorrow. Get, get the hot chocolate ready for us in the morning. Oh, I gotta stop by a mug. It's gonna be hot and ready in the morning. So we had a bit of an interesting event just now. So it is midnight. We're getting back to our room. And our we use the Magical Express lug, luggage delivery service. And we get here and Jason's suitcase is here and mine is not. And it's not on property. It's still at the airport. It hasn't been scanned in. You so, have no toiletries? I have no clothes, no underwear, no makeup, no toiletries, no extra shoes, no jacket, and it's supposed to get cold tomorrow. Try not to freak out. They said that this happens if that Magical Express tag comes off. It, it's delayed, but they know my flight number that the luggage tag from the airport should still be on it. They will find my luggage and they will bring it to me. So, Even if it's two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they said they work 24 hours a day. If it shows up, they will deliver it. So, try not to freak out right now. <laughs> you know, we were sitting at the airport in our hometown, Alexandria, and we heard we were sitting at our gate, getting ready to board, and they made an announcement that they were providing complimentary check-in service for luggage. Yeah. So we were like, okay, sure. It's why complimentary, not? why not? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if we 
could do that over again, I think we would have just carried it right on. I think over, we would have too. Put it over our overhead on the plank and we wouldn't have this problem. But, you know, I don't know, I don't know how often that happens, but this is the first time we checked in our luggage and her luggage isn't here. We yeah. would have carried it on, it would have been here. I know that. Yeah. Well, but hey, just uh, just be warned. Things happen. These things can happen. So, well, we think that we know they were loaded on the plane in Dallas. So they are in. They were in the Orlando, Orlando Airport. And they wouldn't have brought them back. No, they would have. There. So my bag is at the airport. Just obviously the Magical Express tag came off of it, and so it didn't get to the right resort to the right person. So it's just gonna take a little bit they said they said do, do we need anything so we said well we at least need a toothbrush because they have all the other toiletries here in the bathroom that we can use so they brought us a toothbrush and toothpaste um but if it's not here in the morning they said that they said for me to come to the gift shop and they would give me clothes to wear so <laughs> anyway that's my dramatic story for today <laughs> it's never a dull moment is it nope Good morning. So, um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So it is day two. It is our first full day at Disney. And my luggage is still not here. All right, so let's go check out what's in Panchitos this morning. See what I can wear. Well, that looks promising. Okay, so here we are. Just got through security. We're at rope drop. Yes, at, can you guess where?